So what we're going to do is have a look at task one. Now remember in the real test, because task two is more important, you should start with task two. But let's have a quick look now about task one and the writing steps in terms of doing well in task one writing. So before you write, make sure you do these things. We need to have a look at the picture. We need The picture will show us the tense. We need to highlight the key information, note the trends that are happening. Again, we might decide to think about some synonyms that we could use so our writing is not just copying the picture to get a high mark for vocab. When we describe the graph, don't just copy. Try and think about words that you can use that may be different. You need to have a general statement or an overview of the trends that you're noticing. You need to also consider that you have all the main details and that you, that you are using good comparison language to compare trends. The question uh, specifically asks you to compare and contrast information. Generally, while you're writing, consider going from general to specific. So saying in the line graph, the number increased. That's general. And then you'd be specific. It increased from 10% to 40%. So we're talking about the trend and then we give data. That's always a good way to write academically. When you finish your writing, come back and check. Make sure you have those numbers correct. You're going to lose marks for task achievement if you don't have the correct data. So the numbers must be accurate. The numbers must be there. But also check for grammar and spelling. They're going to affect your um, lexical resource, vocab, or grammar mark. You can also think about editing words and phrases that you may have used too.